I'm married. I don't find women attractive no more. That's some bullshit to me. And if a nigga is married right now and he say he don't find women attractive, that nigga's a liar. And you better you better divorce him now because he's going to cheat on you. Nigga, I thought we supposed to be 100 in this shit. Just like you, it ain't, it's a difference between finding somebody attractive and liking them and fucking them. If this bitch is naked as fuck and she got ass and titty, I say she got ass, you like, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. What time is it? And if you ask your husband right now, do he and do he find other women attractive? And he say, no, he cheating on your dumb ass. He can't even keep it real. All you're doing is asking him if he finds somebody attractive. <laughs> so, of course, he's not finna keep it real when you ask him, is he fucking somebody? If you ask him right now, do he find other women attractive? And he say, no, he cheating on your dumb ass. And that's the other way around. Ask your wife, do she find other women attractive? If she say, if she say no, she cheating on your ass, nigga. Promise you. Because we do. Human Nature. The fuck? No, I don't see nobody but my wife. You know what I'm saying? Everything I got, I don't see. I hate them type of niggas. Don't give a fuck if your your wife's sister was Rihanna. You could find your wife's sister attractive, nigga. You don't know her since birth. You only been married to your wife for two years. And induced her at the family reunion. No, you're not finna cross that line. No, you're not finna move on it. No, you're not finna flight with her, but you still can find her attractive. Beautiful smile. Her body right, she dressed nice. Yeah, that's attractive. Them niggas is up there and in. Look, look. That marriage shit is not the way for me. And I honestly think marriage is not for young people, bro. You get married when you get that. If you get married at 21, 22, and y'all 35, 36 right now, and y'all look at each other and say y'all never cheating on each other, one of y'all lying. It's no way in the world y'all two motherfuckers found each other that never cheat on each other. You know what I'm saying? As young as that out of all these, nah. You growing in your 20s and your 30s, bro. That nigga got some pussy or some head, and she got some dick or some head. I promise you. And I know here come the comments, not my wife, not me, not my husband, not me. Facts, bro. He was 22, 21 years old. Y'all 37 now. He done got something before, bro. And it's not like he don't love you no less. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he just, oh, man, I ain't got no pussy. I'm finna cheat on my wife. None of that. That nigga was just a boy going to a man at the same time he was married to you. He was with you. The whole time he was with you, he married titties being stuck to, to, uh, to the chest to now they dropping. He with you through all stages of female. He didn't seen the skinny asses, the fat ass. You don't think he tried to dip it down one time? All his homies ain't married. I'm just saying, bro, and it, and it ain't me trying to, oh, ghost, you up here trying to make it seem like my, my girl's a hoe, like, my well, no, nah, it ain't that. I'm just telling you, nobody's perfect. That's what, I, that's what I was speaking up on when I started this shit. Nobody's perfect, bro. Marriage, to me, is for old people. I'm being real. Once you turn 45, 50 years old, then you can go ahead and do it, bro. But your ass want to be, uh, uh, you want to work be a personal trainer at the gym and your wife is a personal trainer for the Lakers. And you you 23 and she 24. The fuck y'all think y'all doing? Nigga, somebody's finna cheat, bro. You working out all these helping these all these hoes work out all that ass and she around all these niggas after and before the game when they when they feeling good and when they tired as hell. You don't think she what? Because all the females, I know most of the females like them a, 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 a tall man with a nice body. They don't like these fat niggas. She's not a personal trainer for the sumo wrestlers. It's for the Lakers and the Knicks, nigga. And then you you at the gym, you at the 24-hour fitness across the street from the uh from the best uh vegan place in the world. Where do you think these hoes going before and after they uh eat to the uh vegan shit? 
You working that ass out at the gym, you don't Oh yeah, we gonna be the first two in history to go ahead and not do nothing, babe. Fuck that. Flirting going on. Touchy Philly going on. Cause that's both of y'all jobs. You gotta help her, show her how to do it. And she gotta put his look, she gonna put her hand on his thigh to see, do this hurt? What about right here? Do this hurt? The fuck up out of here. Let you let you get on my thigh too close to my dick. My shit getting hard, bro. I don't know about the rest of you niggas. I don't care if she's married or not. She's still a woman, bro. The fuck? No, this hurt. Go up some more. That don't, I don't know what you can go up some more. Marriage ain't for no young motherfuckers. That's why I ain't never entertained it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I, when you think about it, when you, when you get you a woman, you're going to think about it. Don't get me wrong. You're going to think about it. But then after you think about it, think again tomorrow, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think some more. Because then you got to like, yeah, this shit. Because it's going to always be cool, especially if you're a female that got something, especially if you're a nigga that got something. Stop thinking on, oh, yeah, she loved me, nigga. Ah, she married me because I be digging her down. Right, you know what I'm saying? I'm the best nigga she has. Stop thinking like that, bro. Put yourself in her shoes. Now think, why she married me? All right, hold on. I know for a fact. I ain't got the best head in the world. No, for a fact, I ain't got the best dick in the world. But damn. She do keep on saying how I'm the first millionaire she ever fuck with. She do keep on saying how it's the first vacation she ever took to fucking Paris. She do keep on saying she want to go back to these cabinets and get on this yacht and mooty boop whoop. Like, damn, that's what she happy about. You know what I'm saying? Because she don't never bring up the dick. You know what I'm saying? That's what this bitch, you better start thinking, bro. Think on why she want to marry you instead of you thinking on why she want to marry you. Ain't thinking on all that other shit, bro. Prenups, why? Why have a prenup or why Shouldn't you have a prenup? Hold on real quick. Let me go there, bro. And to everybody listening on Spotify and Apple, bro, I'll be having to check my camera when I keep getting up, make sure it's still recording, because, shit, y'all get the full audio. I still got to chop this up for everybody on YouTube. Get over there to the YouTube set at all. I ain't even, and I still ain't changed to the So Look Bro podcast. I should still say DJ Ghost podcast. But anyway, 